Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Adam's VRT, Vinyl Rubber and Trim Dressing. Okay, so today we're looking at Adam's VRT, Vinyl Rubber and Trim Dressing. So this is a multi-purpose dressing kind of for plastics, rubber, vinyl, all that sort of stuff, interior, exterior. It's concentrated, okay, so again, you can bulk it out to, to give it some more kind of uses, and I'll go through those a little bit later on. The basics of the product, it's $19.99 for 16 ounces or 473 milliliters of concentrate which is expensive, okay, that's at the upper end of the market, um, but it can be bulked out, and these products generally tend to last you a fair old amount of time. The basic product claims, it's SPS 35 protection, okay, so it protects your components against UV damage. It's water-based, solvent-free, no kind of oily, greasy film, and it claims a sort of low sling formula, so it's less likely to sling than potentially other products. That's all the claims, I think. Um, some of the other uses, you can use it undiluted on tyres to get the maximum potency out of it, or you can also use it one-to-one -to, -one to get a, a slightly lower gloss um, finish, but we'll talk about that later on. You can use it as two-to-one for a kind of vinyl or soft-top detailing spray, if you like, and you can use it three-to-one as, as like a QD for, for matte and vinyl finishes on a car. So it's got some other uses for a trim dressing that I didn't know you could use them that way, so that's kind of quite cool. Next up, preparing the tyre for the dressing. So there's no miracle kind of product that will give you good results that, that I've seen that if you apply it straight on top of a dirty tyre, okay, the most important thing in terms of your results is getting the, the rubber clean before you apply the dressing. Using APCs to clean your tyre isn't always a, a good bet that you're going to have a product which is going to really um, clean the tyre off properly, okay? Like I've mentioned before, I think in the leather cleaning video, the, the formulation or the approach of APCs can vary. Some of them can be more kind of soapy kind of interior-based cleaners, and some of them can be full-on degreasers, okay? So Adams have a specific product for cleaning your tyres, tyre tire and rubber cleaner, which to me is a degreaser, okay? So you spray it on your tyres, it'll strip down any silicones and grease from previous coatings, it will really, um, you'll see it when you work it, discolour straight away and go a dirty colour, which is always a good sign, okay? Um, that brown gunk that you can get coming out of the tyres, it breaks that down. You just spray it onto all of your tyre, you work the hell out of it with a brush, you know, and try and, try and really get the whole tyre. You rinse off all of that kind of residue from where the degrease has worked and broken down some of that product, and then you dry the, the tyre with a microfiber. Once you've done that, you can have a look at how much dirt is left on that uh, tire by getting a clean part of the microfiber and just rubbing over it and seeing. You know, it's very hard to, to ever rub over the tire and get a completely clean piece of microfiber, but what you don't want is the thick kind of black grease still coming off it. That tells you you've got a filthy tire. You want a minimal amount of dirt coming off on the microfiber or when you kind of rub it over with your hands, your hands are still clean. That's a good indicator for me that the tire's clean enough to take the dressing. So that's very important to do that before you apply the dressing. So application of the VRT product, once your tire is clean and dry, you get a suitable applicator, a nice dense foam applicator. And if you have a look at my um, foam applicator video, I recommended these kind of Chinese sponges because they're very cheap and they're quite tough and they don't, when you rub them over the surface of the tire, they don't seem to break down and give you all the little bits coming off them, which which is important, so they're good little tire applicators, as long as you don't scrub too hard with them. So you put a couple of dots of your product onto the applicator, and you spread it and work it over the tire surface, and then once you've got full coverage and it's looking good, you allow it to dry. 
in this particular test, I thought, you know, to give me more, more of an idea of how VRT performs, I would put it up against, you know, a couple of products which I've used and reviewed on the channel, which is the, Mag the Meguiar's Endurance um, High Gloss Tire Gel and the CarPro Pearl, which is another versatile kind of all-round rubber trim and plastics dressing with a very good darkening effect. So by putting it up against those, it gives me a better idea of performance than just using it on its own. Okay, so I want to run through all the different criteria that I've been testing and, and observing with these three products. First thing to say is um, I've used two different tyres. So I've got the, the Continental tyre in here, which is an old tyre um, that I just use to observe how it looks, you know, in a good environment. So I can get the tyre off and play around with it and see it properly. And I also put it on one of my Michelin um, Super Sports on the 135. And those tyres don't take dressings too well. But by having the dressings on a tyre that I'm actually using on a car, I can get a better view of how it stands up in like a week's time when I've been, you know, driving the car. Right, first thing, application. So we've got the three products, Meguiar's Endurance, CarPro Pearl, Adams VRT. First thing to say is, no tyre dressing is difficult to apply, okay? It's gonna be small things that kind of, that, that, uh, that you can notice that are different. And the first thing is Pearl and VRT are slightly thinner. Pearl's actually the thinnest, even at full concentration. Um, both of these are a little bit easier to spread than the Meguiar's kind of high gloss gel, which is a little bit more treacle-like and just requires a little bit more working. Not to the point where it's difficult, but just to the point where you can notice it. So VRT and Pearl are slightly easier to apply. Shine on application, okay? So what does the tyre look like immediately after you've laid out the dressing and, and, and it's just at the point where you think it's dried? So this is quite easy. Um, Meguiar's, Meguiar's Endurance has, has a massive amount of shine and gloss, okay? So it's the shiniest on application. CarPro Pearl is the next shiniest with a kind of satin finish. A uh, little bit of gloss there, it settles down the next day and becomes more matte, but on application it's a clear satin. And VRT for me is a matte finish, so that's important. Um, next thing, the darkening effect. This is one of the most important things for me because one of the things I like is, no matter what the product gives in terms of gloss, I want a good darkening effect on that tyre to give me like an OEM new rubber look, whether it's shiny or not, darkening effect is important. Um, now that's one of the reasons I like Pearl and I've been using Pearl a lot. Pearl's there. It has a really good darkening effect on rubber, okay, so it gives me that dark black look that I want. And I'll overlay all pictures of what I'm talking about with the application and the shine on application and the darkening effect. But I can tell you now, VRT is just as dark, to my eye anyway, as, as Pearl. With the Meguiar's Endurance, it's a little bit harder to tell the darkening effect because you still see shine coming off it, okay? But Mex is pretty good on the darkening effect um, as well. But like I say, it's disguised more. So the two that I think have blackened the tire most, again, are the Pearl and the VRT. Um, it is a nice, deep black. None of that kind of graying that you can get, and that dullness, that's all gone. And I've got a black OEM look that I'd be satisfied with on both of these dressings. So that's good, that's important for me. The next criteria, is there any kind of film left on the tire, okay, that's, that I can feel when I've, after, after the products have had at least half an hour to dry, because that's how long megs can sometimes take, and we'll just talk about that. First of all, there's no film at all on the um, VRT, or, or very little, okay? It's, it's still silicon based, but it, it, you can rub your hand over it and your hand's not gonna feel all greasy and anything like that. So out, out of all three, it leaves the least kind of, leaves the least of a shiny, wetter product behind, which is quite nice. Um, Pearl, on application, on application it's got this satin gloss and you can still feel a slight film there, but it goes the next day. And the next day, and this is probably two, two days later at least, these tires, they, both these dressings feel very similar to me, which is fine. There's not, there's not that heavy film over the surface. The Meguiar's Endurance, um, still, I can still feel a slippery oiliness on the surface. And, you know, that's probably a consequence of the high gloss, is that there's something there that stays there 
that never fully dries. Um, you know, it takes about it takes about 20 minutes to half an hour for it's a heavy solvent based dressing this one. It takes a while for that solvent to kind of release and leave the, the purer form of kind of silicon behind the dressing. And whatever whatever form of silicon they leave behind, it's a thicker, wetter one, and that's why you get the gloss. But the, the consequence of that is a, a slight film over the tire. Still looks great. Next thing, um, patchiness or flat bits. So Meguiar's Endurance, because it's got that wetness to it, you can sometimes get little patches where you might have a little bit more product, even if you've tried to level it, or even if you've wiped it with microfiber, you'll notice little bits of it shine perhaps more than others. Um, but it's still, still not too, it's not too patchy if you, if you spread it properly, but it's noticeable, okay? And I'll try and overlay the shots of what I mean. You can see little patches of shine, then perhaps little patches of less shine. The VRT and the Pearl, okay, um, they just look, like I said, like a black, consistent um, OEM finish more. So both of these, perhaps perhaps guys in the detailing trade or, or people into that detailing prefer the finish on, on these ones. I'm guessing it's down to what you like. You know, and the gloss, you get a little bit more bang for your buck. It catches your eye. That's why a lot of the kind of dealerships or car valeting places will use them because you notice it more when it's shiny and some people like that I still like a, a wet look tire at certain points as well you know I'm not I'm not too fussed about um, well I, I, I don't know it's not my priority the priority is 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 getting the tire to look black look new and look sharp and then the level of shine afterwards I'm not like it's not like a wine tester where you know ooh, I'm getting a bit of grape here I'm getting a bit of black current you know, I'm not, not so fussy as long as it's nice and dark and looking good. Um, next thing, the finish, okay? The most important point to this video, because there are, it's clear that there are, there are finishing differences with these three products. So that I've already mentioned it. Meguiar's high gloss wet look. Car Pro Pearl satin shine on application, and it settles down when you come back a day or so later, closer to a dark matte finish with perhaps a little bit more sheen than a normal matte finish so i put it in the category of satin really um vrt for me is a matte finish okay um so it's dark but it doesn't have that kind of shine coming off of it um right so that's the little criteria i marked it on um to, to now i've got I've written down durability here the problem with durability is it's never so much the product sitting on the tire and then the product failing. It's more to do with build up of dirt on top of the product after that and what happens to the tire. So in that sense, no matter what dressing you use, you will probably need to redress your car if you've been driving it every day on each maintenance wash or maybe every other maintenance wash, which some people do, um, if you want the tire to maintain that finish. So durability on these products is less of an issue. I've yet, yet to find a tyre dressing that you can apply on your car and it will last like months and keep the look of the tyre. Because like I say, no matter how good the dressing is, the tyres are the part of the car that are getting plastered in dirt and brake dust all the time. They're the part making contact with the road, so it kind of stands to reason. Also tested the products on a piece of rubber trim, okay? So, you know, on your doors, below the glass and around the glass, typically you get that kind of rubber that's similar to tire rubber and then it's kind of soft and rubbery you know as opposed to kind of hard plastics um, now what I'll say about this is the Meguiar's Endurance is still still kind of I can feel the the oily film on the top of it still okay and there's patches of shine and then patches which are not so shiny um, the VRT is bone dry it's blackened but there's no shine okay so it's similar to how it's performed on the tire and the pearl, most of it's kind of dry now. There's a little bit of shine still in the um, in the seam there, so it's just a it has a little bit more gloss than the the VRT. Uh, on the external on the external trim, I'm probably I probably prefer having less gloss and shine on those rubber components. I do want them bone dry, and I want them dark. That's important to me. But both of these products would deliver me a finish I'd be happy with. So that's okay. The Megs, like I say, I wouldn't use that on anything other than the tyres, personally. 
Right, let's do an overall summary of what I think of um, Adam's VRT from just having it on these two test tyres and then the Plarium with it and testing it on bits of trim and stuff. Let's start with the negatives, the potential negatives. The first one is the lack of gloss, okay? So it's a matte finish. And that is falling into the world of um, personal preference. If you like a high gloss shine, or any sort of shine, then it's fair to say that VRT is probably, probably not gonna be the product for you. Um, Adams do provide a glossy tire shine product, okay? Uh, Jeff threw in a sample of it here. So I quickly, I haven't tested it formally or put it on loads of things, but I quickly, I quickly whacked it on I quickly whacked it on this tyre here, so that's the Meg's Endurance, that's untreated, and that is the high gloss one. Um, this thing is high gloss on application, and the day later it's high satin, and we all know about what the Meguiar's is, high, high gloss steel, you know, still, still a little bit kind of wet, whereas this is bone dry, so they've got a, they've got a nice glossy one that takes a different approach and doesn't leave the kind of wet residue, so just thought I'd mention that, if you do like a bit more shine, but you don't want the wet look and the wet feel, then it might be worth checking out Adam's tyre shine. Um, but like I say, we're reviewing the VRT here, so that's the first negative, it's a matte finish. Oh, it's not a negative, it's a finish preference, I guess. So if you like gloss, um, VRT is probably not gonna be the product for you. The next negative is, is slightly more expensive than the rivals that I've tested it up against here, okay? Not significantly more expensive because you're using a couple of, you know, you're using a few dots per tyre. See, this product still, if you're just using it on your car on the weekends when you wash it, it's still going to last, last you a year, but it's 20 quid for this. It has to be imported from America, which adds a little cost to it. Um, not, not, you know, insanely expensive but slightly more expensive than its rival. So that's, you know, I've got to mention these things. Right, the, the positives, the important stuff. Okay, um, the number one thing that I can notice about this from applying it, it dries extremely quickly. So, you know, Meg's Endurance, you want to give it like half an hour if you put quite a lot on, you know, and it's still wet the next day, even though most of it, most of the excess has gone away and the solvent's gone away. But very, very quick drying, literally two or three minutes and it's, and it's dry. Um, and it gives you, when it, you know, after a bit longer, say you wait another 20 minutes, it's kind of bone dry and you can touch the tyre and not really feel any kind of greasy residue on your hand, which is, which is nice and I think some people will like. Um, the other thing is the UV protection that's in VRT, SPF 35. Um, when you're using it on trim and stuff like that, trim that's getting on a bit in its kind of shelf life, maybe older than five or six years old, will need that UV protection to help maintain it. So that's important with the Adams. The next thing, which is a finished thing, the, the look of the dressing is consistent, okay? So it has a consistent darkening effect and over the whole area that you apply it, which is really, really important, okay? There are, most of them are good on that, but there are, that's where you can spot the ones you really like and the ones you really don't like. The ones that aren't consistent and you can spot dull, dull areas, you know, that's it. If I spot that, I won't use them again. So it's a lovely, consistent, black OEM look finish. Um, I can't spot any filming issues with it, okay? Which is another thing that's important. It might need for me to wait a couple of weeks and look, you know, see when it, what happens when it starts to wear out. Um, you know, do you get any filming? But so far, from the test trim and the 135 and on here, I can't see any of that kind of yellowy film appearing, you know, now that it's dried. So that's good. The last thing is my personal preference is I, I don't mind shine on tyres, but I don't particularly want it on any of the rubber around my windows and stuff like that. I just want that to look like black new rubber. So it's really good, you know, probably the best of those three at that because of the lack of shine combined with the good darkening effect and the fact it's bone dry, okay? So when you come to clean your rubbers next time, the fact that it's not leaving something behind that you can feel when it's greasy means there's gonna be less of that black crap, pardon my French, less of that black stuff when you go to rub down your rubbers and reapply your dressings. So um, that's one thing I've noticed and that's one thing I really like. Okay, so that is the Adams VRT dressing. 
it's a well regarded product if ever you go and do your research and see what people are saying about it it's, it's well used over in america okay it's good feedback from it on the forums that people are using it, it seems to be recommended a lot the most important thing about this video is to mention the finish characteristics okay it's definitely a dark matte oem finish and if you like high gloss it's fair to say this this product is not going to deliver you high gloss you might want to check out the adams tire shine if you like high gloss with no wet look no film which is kind of nice um so yeah high gloss wet look mcguire's endurance car pro pearl satin shine um, VRT dark OEM matte finish. Um, VRT edges it for me on, on non rubbers as well, just because of the fact, like I said, that it's a nice dry dark finish. Car Pro Pearl, one, one good strength about that is it, its ability to darken faded plastics. It works really well at that. I was comparing it with solution finish on that other video and it can almost hold up as long as solution finish on the on the trim. So it's good at it's good at that as well. Um, but yeah, it's a, this is a very good product, guys. I feel like I had a high gloss solution, you know, with the Meguiar's Endurance that I've been using for years. Um, Car Pro Pearl is a great all-round dressing that I've reviewed in another thing uh, with a with a satin finish. And I feel that like now I have found a good dressing that has the darkening effect I want, but gives me a matte finish. Um, so yeah, I, I think I've talked about all the characteristics of the product there. Let me know what you think about VRT if you used it. In the comments, let me know what dressings you use and try and say why as well, you know, because it gives me, you know, it really gets my attention when someone goes into detail and explains why something's good and what problems it solves for them that other products haven't solved. So go into detail when you comment and that way the comments fill up with loads of useful information for other people that are coming here and watching this video. I've tried to cover everything I think about VRT. It's a good product. I definitely recommend it for that dark matte OEM finish on your rubber, vinyl and plastics. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We've got one more Adams product to go um, with the um, H2O Garden Gloss, which is an interesting product chemically because it's an acrylic based um, product that you can apply in a similar fashion to a wet coat. So we're going to talk a little bit about the chemistry of that product uh, in the next video. So stay tuned for more stuff and I shall see you soon. Take care guys. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.